Yo guys, what is going on? I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to muffle your audio in DaVinci Resolve. This is a super easy trick to do, and it's very effective and can make your audio sound 10 times better. But before we jump in, I wanna let you guys know that my name is Ryan, and I help other editors get saucy in DaVinci Resolve. And you guys should go check out my editing packs because they are some of the most premium editing assets that you can find in the market today. Let's hop into this tutorial right now. All right guys, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve, and as you can see, we are now in the edit page just with a simple audio. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this is good for. So we're we're gonna go to a point in our audio where we want the transition to happen. So right here is a part in my audio where I want it to switch into being from muffled to non-muffled. And now what we're gonna do is we have to separate these audio tracks. So this is the audio track I wanna muffle and this is the audio track I wanna keep normal. So we're gonna bring the track we wanna be muffled and bring it down to a separate track so in this instance, it's audio track number two. Now we're gonna head over to the music tab and over here in the mixer, we're gonna swipe over and swipe down till we see the blue line under A2. So we're gonna double click this blue line and it should bring up this equalizer window. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit band six and take this six right here and change it and put it right around right here. And if it helps guys, under frequency right here on band six, should be around four, should be in the 400s to 500s to make things a lot easier. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit X and go back to the edit page. And now you, it is as simple as that to add a muffle. So now if we play this back. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the transition. So as you can see here, this is where we wanna transition. So it sounds terrible, not gonna lie. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go to audio transitions and use the crossfade zero dB. And we're gonna make it very short, just like so, okay? Add it to this one as well. And then we're gonna make it the same length. So now we have something like this. Okay, now one more trick guys, using those premium assets I was telling you about in the beginning, we're gonna go ahead and grab a riser in my pack. And I'm gonna show you guys how can this, how this riser can make it sound literally a good jillion times better. So we're gonna put a riser on a whole new, entirely different track. We're gonna go to change track type to mono, and we're just gonna turn this sound effect riser to like negative five. Now, if we go ahead and play this through. So we're gonna play this through, it already sounds so good. All right guys, and it's actually literally as simple as that, and that's how sound effects can literally level up your edits and that muffle audio just in general can level up your sound effects in the first place. Go check that sound effect pack out down in the bio. But guys, thank you for the quick tutorial today. Thank you for sticking around, and I will see you guys in the next video. I needed wisdom.